wonder what we could be doing today. What do you think? That's right, the Lion King, and I've got baby Simba here to give me a wee hand. But we're going to start the same way we always start our yoga classes, and that's with our yoga song. So let's pop Simba over here just now. He can sit and watch us and learn the song. Are you ready? So on your knees, and you can just pat your knees if you don't know the words, okay? If you do, please sing along. Are you ready? One, two, three. Say hello and namaste, time for fun and yoga play. Am I ready? Yes, I am sitting on my mat. Well done. So next, we get our little friend out, don't we? We've already got Simba helping us today. But we have a friend that always helps us, don't we? Now, can anyone remember his name? That's right. It's Om. That's a bit of a strange word, isn't it? So we're going to shout on him after three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Om. That's it. And if you shut your lips at the end, you can feel them tingling sometimes. So let's see if he's going to come out and see us. He's asleep in his nice little sleeping bag here. So let's get him out. Oh, oh here he is. And he's so excited, aren't you? Oh, he's really excited today because he loves the Lion King. And he loves it when people come to visit, don't you? Oh, look at him having a lovely big cuddle. So Om's going to sit and watch your yoga. It's his favourite thing to watch in the whole world. And he'll sit on his very own yoga mat and watch you just here. That's it. And I tell you what, we'll put Simba next to him for a wee cuddle as well. Look. Oh, he goes having a wee sleep, it looks like. Okay, so now we have to say our magic yoga code word. We, yes, we need to say that at the beginning of every yoga adventure. So it's a strange word, isn't it? It's namaste. And we'll say it after three with our hands at our heart like this. Are you ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Excellent. Let's get going. So, the Lion King. Before we do this, we have to practice our lion pose because, as you can imagine, there's a lot of lions in this story. So, I'll show you how we're going to do that. We stay sitting on our knees and we pat them three times. One, two, three. Then we sit up on our knees and we do big lion claws and we go, bah! and you've got to roar. Or you can just stick your tongue out if you want, and you've got to open your eyes wide. Okay, let's practice it. One, two, three. Bah! Well done. And you can roar as loud as you want, as, long, as, lo as loud as you're allowed to in your house. Okay, so we're going to start our story. Now, some of you might know the Lion King story. Some of you might not, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do the story through yoga anyway. So it starts, doesn't it, at Pride Rock. And the first person we see, actually, is a monkey. Oh, well, it looks like a monkey anyway. It's Rafiki, isn't it? And Rafiki's up to something. But first we have to do a monkey jump. Yes, we do. So let's stand up and we stand with our feet apart and we bend down and I'll show you how to do a monkey jump. Down and we go one, two, three. Ooh, ah! Okay, you ready? Let's do one together. One, two, three. Ooh, ah! And stretch those arms and legs out wide. So Rafiki is making his way up to Pride Rock. That's right, because the, the big King Mufasa lives in a big cave up at the top, doesn't he? So let's do a cave pose, feet apart, and hands right up to the top. That's it. And I wonder what's happened. Do you know what's happened? That's right. A little baby lion has been born. So Rafiki takes the lion cub, doesn't he? And holds it right up. So if you get a teddy or a Simba, or even if you've not got anything, put your hands right up in the air. That's it. Hold them right up. Because all the animals have come to see them, haven't they? They're all so excited at the birth of a new king. So what different types of animals do we get? Let's put Simba down there just now. So we get some elephants, don't we? We always get elephants in the African plains. So let's put our legs apart and let's get our big trunks like this in front of us. And we're going to bend over and swing our trunks and make a sort of elephant noise. And do one more. Well done. And there are some zebras as well, aren't they? What colour are zebras? Black and white and they've got spiky manes and they look sort of like horses, don't they? So let's sit down and do a zebra pose. We're going to go onto our knees like this, put one foot forward, bring your big spiky zebra mane up and we're going to go just like that. 
like a bit of a horse sound match, right? Now let's swap over your knees and I'll show you from the side that this knee up and then go and move your hips back and forward, okay? So, lots of animals come to see baby Simba. Very important lion cub has been born, hasn't it? But not everybody came, did they? No. So Zazu, that's the assistant to King Mufasa. He's a little bird, isn't he? So let's do our birdie pose. Let's stand up. And if you bend over to the side like this, let's bend over and do big bird wings. That's it. Zazu's a very, very busy wee birdie, isn't he? Helping the king. So he goes up the scars, cave scar is not very nice and he is King Mufasa's brother so he lives in a horrible dark cave so let's put our legs out it's again remember how we did our cave the first time let's put our hands to the top that's it and Scar's not a very nice line but we still need to do our lion pose for Scar that's it so down on your knees remember one two three <coughs> that's it and Zazu's asking why Scar didn't come to see the new baby and I think Scar's trying to scare Zazu and maybe wants to eat him for his dinner. That's right, let's rub our tummies. Mm -hmm. I think Scar's other things going on in his mind but all of a sudden we hear another roar, don't we? And it's King Mufasa come to save Zazu. So let's do another roar. One, two, three. Bah! That's it. So he says to Scar, you better behave yourself. Scar, I'm not having any of your naughty behaviour here. I know what you can be like. Mm -hmm. And Scar's not very happy at all. Let's do an angry face. That's it. So as time goes on, Simba goes from a tiny wee baby cub and he grows up quite fast, doesn't he? So let's do a little bit of growing up. Let's start off on our toes and hugging your knees like this. Can you do that? By balancing and we're going to grow up, okay? A little bit at a time. So we're going to grow up. That's it, keep going, keep going, stretch those hands up. That's it. And he's a young lion cub by this point, isn't he? So King Mufasa takes him up to the very top of a mountain one day. So let's go and climb. Let's take one hand and one knee, other hand, and climb up. They climb up really, really high, don't they? And they get to the top of the mountain. Let's do our mountain pose. So our hands by our side, shoulders nice and relaxed, and let's look straight ahead. That's it lovely big mountain pose and Mufasa tells little Simba that one day he will be king of everything he can see and this makes Simba pretty excited but we need to do a crown pose first of all because he will be king one day or he should be all going well so let's lift our crowns up that's it now turn your hands to the front and put your crown on like that that's it good for bending those wrists so there's only one place that Mufasa says that Simba can't go, and that's the elephant graveyard, because it's very, very dangerous, yes. I don't know what quite goes on there, but we don't want to know, do we? No. So Simba says, okay, I won't go there. Hmm. Do you think he's going to be a good lion cub? Well, one day, him and Nala, that's his best friend, she's the same age as him, they decide to be a little bit naughty and run off to the elephant graveyard. Now, King Mufasa says that Zazu has to go as well. So remember how we did Zazu? We bent over like this and we did our big wings. That's it. And he says, Zazu, you look after Nala and Simba, but they run off without him, don't they? Let's do a bit of a lion run. So on your hands and knees, that's it. Let's stretch out one leg and one arm. That's it. Then down and the other leg and other arm. That's it. Now try and do it like this. That's it. In and out. And, and, and like you're a big lion running across the plains of Africa. So they leave Zazu behind. A little bit naughty. Guess where they go? That's right, the elephant graveyard. Because they want to see what is there. And it's all dark and horrible. And there's a lot of bones there as well. And what do you think they see first? What sort of animal? That's right, the horrible hyenas who aren't very nice and like to eat lions for lunch if they can. So let's do our hyena pose. And hyenas can laugh in a bit of a funny way as well, can't they? It's not a very nice laugh. Go on your hands and knees, tuck your toes and pop your bottom up like that and go, ah, 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 like a laughing hyena. That's it. So the hyenas manage to catch them and they're just about to eat Nala and Simba. That's right, let's rub our tummies again. 
a lot of people wanting to eat people here, isn't there? That's it. But then all of a sudden, we hear a big, big roar. Let's do our roars. One, two, three. Rah! And it's King Mufasa come to save Nala and Simba. So he scares all the hyenas off. Let's do a scared face now. Because mm, the hyenas are some, they're bullies, aren't they? And they get scared off very, very easily. And King Mufasa is not happy. So he takes Simba and Nala home. And he sits down and he says, Simba, you're going to come and have a word with me. And he explains to Simba that he's got to listen and that he, hasn't, he mustn't do silly things like that. And Simba says, Dad, are you always going to be with me for all my life and forever? And Mufasa answers and he says, Son, I will always be with you, even if it's in the stars. Let's do a big star pose. That's it. Big star pose. And so Simba and his dad have made up, and Simba knows not to be naughty anymore. Meanwhile, nasty scar. That's it. Let's come down and do a mean and nasty facey. He's decided get the hyenas to help him get rid of baby Simba because he wants to be king. That's right. And he's not very nice. He decides to take Simba into the big gorge. And it's a big dip. That's it. It's a big dip where it can fill up with lots of dust and water sometimes. And what he gets is the wildebeest to come in there. And Simba's there. So let's do a wildebeest pose. You have to stand with your legs apart and hold on to your ankles and trample like this. Boom, 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 boom. Big heavy feet. Because wildebeest, there was lots of them, wasn't there? And they came down. But luckily, King Mufasa came to save Simba. He knew Scar was up to no good. So he comes down. That's it. Let's do a roar. One, two, three. Rah! And he manages to save Simba. And he props him up onto a little tree, doesn't he? Let's do a tree pose. Let's put the back of your foot against other foot like that and put your hands to your heart into tree pose then come back to the beginning and do it all again with the other foot standing up nice and tall so Simba's all nice and safe but now King Mufasa has to get out from under the wildebeest or he'll get trampled to death so he starts to climb up the side of the gorge let's do opposite foot and opposite hand that's it like that but at the top is Scar and he bends over looks at King Mufasa doesn't he and he pushes him all the way to the ground oh dear that's not very good for Mufasa Simba's really upset and goes over and lies down next to his dad and I don't think his dad will be waking up again because he had such a big fall and he lies next to him oh dad dad what have I done and Scar comes along and said it was all his fault so Simba has no option but to run away, he feels so bad that his dad isn't living anymore. So let's run like a lion, remember? Come onto our hands and our feet. That's it. And we put one leg out and one hand, then the other one. So he runs away, runs away, that's it. And he gets really, really, really tired. Let's all lie down oh, on our mats. Oh, really tired. And it doesn't look good for baby Simba, does it? Well, he's not so much of a baby anymore, but he's still very little. Until two special friends come along. That's right. What are their names? You remember? We've got Timon, who's a mere cat. So let's sit up on our knees and put our hands up like a little mere cat and look left to the right. That's it. And Pumbaa. What kind of animal is Pumbaa? A big warthog. So let's do warthog pose. We have to line our backs for this one. Lie down, fold up your feet. That's it. And roll about on your back like a warthog. Well done. And they like to sing a lovely wee song, don't they? What's the song that they sing? Hakuna Matara. That's right. Don't worry. I won't sing the whole song for you. <laughs> so they take care of Simba and they take him back to where they live and teach him how to eat berries and live just like them. And Simba gets even old and he's nearly a man now, Simba. He's been living with them for such a long time. That's right. And one night, poor little Timon, that's right, a lion comes and attacks little, Pum uh, little Timon. That's right. And they're wrestling. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Because Simba has come to help Timon. And all of a sudden, he looks at the other lion. Let's put our yoga binoculars on. Put your thumb and your forefinger together. And look. 
said, it's Nala. Nala, what are you doing here? His friend from when he was little. And they can't believe that they've met each other again. But Nala sits down and she said, we've missed you so much. We thought you were dead. You have to come back to Pride Rock. Scar and the hyenas have taken over. There's no food. There's no grass. There's no water. It's terrible. Everybody's dying. But Simba says, I can't go back. Let's shake our heads. I can't go back there. And she says, well, why not? He said, I just can't. And he runs off and sits by the river, doesn't he? So Nala returns home and let's do a river pose. So he sits with his legs out. That's it. And touch your toes. Now you can bend your knees if you need to. And in the river, he suddenly sees a picture of his dad. That's right. And what did his dad say? I'll always be with you, Simba, even if it's just in the stars. So let's stand right out. And then... Simba knows he has to return to Pride Rock and take his place in the circle of life. So this time he takes, who does he take with him? Timon, the meerkat, and Pumbaa, the warthog. That's right. Let's lie down, feet up, and roll about like a warthog. That's it. And they go all the way back. It's a very, very, very long walk. So let's do some nice walking. That's it. Nice, smart walking. <laughs> well done. That's it. And they go back, and right enough, there's no grass. It looks terrible. It's all black. There's no flowers. Oh, it doesn't look good at all. And the hyenas are controlling everything with King Scar. It's not good. Let's do our hyena pose again. Down on our hands and knees. Tuck your toes in and pop that bottom up. That's it. And remember, go, ah, 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 like a nasty hyena. That's it. So, Simba appears back. That's right. And he says that Scar's got to go away and he's back to be the Lion King and his mummy's so pleased to see him. And Nala's super pleased to see him as well. But King Star tries to tell everyone that he killed his dad. But we know it was Scar, don't we? So he was lying and he gets found out for his lying and him and Simba have a big fight, don't they? So let's do the wrestling again. That's it, Scar and Simba have a big fight and eventually... He falls, doesn't he? He falls off a cliff, King Scar. But he's not the king anymore because he's fallen off. So he falls off the cliff. And we're going to do a wee bit of a tumble off a cliff ourselves. Let's sit with our hands behind our knees. Watch, there's no furniture behind you. And go rock and roll up as if you're tumbling off a cliff. That's it. Rock and roll. Well done. So that's the end of Scar. And the hyenas all run off because they know... That I think Simba might be pretty angry with him. Yes, indeed. But all of a sudden, it starts raining. It does. Let's do some rain in our head. And rain is what they need, isn't it? To make the grass grow, to make the flowers grow, and for the animals to drink and thrive again. That's right, in the Pride Lands. So, thankfully, King Scar's away, hyenas are away, and everyone's happy because Simba's back, especially Nala. That's right, Nala and Simba fall in love, which they didn't heart with their hands. And then what happens? What happens right at the end of The Lion King? That's it, Rafiki appears again, doesn't he? And put her legs apart, jump down, and let's do a monkey jump again. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. That's right, because Nala and Simba have had a baby. Let's do a baby pose. And let's lie down, feet out, and you have to lift up one leg. And hold on to it like a baby. <gasps> That's it. And do the other leg as well. Hold on to it like you're cradling a wee baby. That's it. And remember, Rafiki comes, takes the new baby, and holds it up again. Right up in the air. That's it. Stretch right up with your arms for all the animals in the Pride Lands to see. And they all live happily ever after because Simba was so brave and came back. <gasps> Phew. That was a big adventure, wasn't it? So what we're going to do now is lie down on our mats. Now you can put a blanket over your, your body if you want to, or you can just lie down. So let's lie down. Ah, oh, And put your legs out wide. And just close our eyes. And let's think about how beautiful the Pride Lands and Pride Rock looks like. It's got lots of animals. And a big lake of water. And birdies flying about. That's it. And it's such a beautiful place. But we 
enough for King's Garage to cope. It wasn't very nice, was it? Because he wasn't thinking of everyone else. He was just thinking of himself. So everyone ended up with no food and water. That's right. And Simba had to be super brave, didn't he? He thought he had killed his dad and he hadn't at all. So he had to be brave and come back and face his fears. And because he did, he lived happily ever after. Clever Simba. That's right. And of course, we mustn't forget Timon and Pumba. That's right. They helped Simba so much. And they were his friends. And he couldn't have done it without them either. So let's just, let's, let's cuddle our toes a little bit. Cuddle our fingers a wee bit. And we're going to sit up really, really slowly. That's right. Let's sit up. And then sit with your legs crossed again. And we're going to end the way that we began with our magic three word. That's right. Namaste. So after three, we say namaste. You ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done. And Om is super pleased with you as well. Let's see a wee bit. Om, and see what he's thinking. Dude, he really enjoyed that. He did. And look. He loved sitting watching it with Simba. That's right. They just love each other. And Om loves it when a wee friend comes to visit yoga classes. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you back again for the next yoga story. See you later.